demonstration is of the analog radio frequency input port in the Tektronix MDO3104 oscilloscope. RF is defined as 10 to the 4th power to 10 to the 12th power hertz. These frequencies are used extensively in telecommunications. Of course, you can't access, process, and display frequencies much in excess of the oscilloscope's rating without experiencing prohibitive signal attenuation due to reactive impedances in the instrument's circuitry. The bandwidth of this Tektronix MDO3104 oscilloscope is 2 gigahertz, an astonishing 2 billion cycles per second. To demonstrate the RF channel in this instrument, I have run a BNC cable from the AFG port on the rear panel to the RF port on the front panel. The BNC cable com connection to the RF input port requires an RF adapter, which Tektronix furnishes with the instrument. We'll use the internal arbitrary function generator to supply a sine wave to the RF input. To do this, press AFG. Sign is default. Then we'll go to waveform settings and adjust the frequency to the maximum this AFG can do, which is 25 megahertz. As you can observe, the different waveforms have varying maximum frequencies. Why doesn't this look like the sine wave we are used to seeing? The answer is that in the RF mode, the oscilloscope uses Cartesian coordinates to display signals in the frequency rather than in the time domain. Here, amplitude is plotted along the y-axis as in the time domain, shown along the more user-friendly logarithmic scale. But the big difference is that along the horizontal x-axis, rather than time, frequency is plotted. The irregular fluctuating line across the bottom is the noise floor, below which no signal can be displayed. This is a characteristic of the frequency domain. It is analogous to the sound you hear on a radio tuned to no station with the volume turned high, and to snow on a television screen. The phenomenon is not caused by manufacturing defects, but rather by random thermal motion of electrons in the circuitry. Since the oscilloscope is essentially an auto-ranging voltmeter, the volume is turned high, so to speak. There is the sine wave displayed in the frequency domain. The signal fundamental is crammed against the edge of the display, and that is why it is hard to see. A sine wave has no harmonics other than the fundamental, which is technically known as the first harmonic. We can adjust a display parameter to make the signal more readable. To do this, under RF in the front panel, press Frequency Span. Then, enter our signal's frequency, 25 megahertz, as the center frequency. Now, the fundamental is out where you can see it. If you want to see some harmonics, change the waveform to square wave, which has lots of harmonics because of the extremely fast rise and fall times. You have to set the span to 2.00 gigahertz with the center frequency still at 25 megahertz. As you can see, the harmonics decrease in amplitude as the frequency gets farther away from the fundamental. Actually, the harmonics extend to infinity, but they quickly disappear below the noise floor because of the logarithmic amplitude scale along the y-axis. Thanks for watching. New videos are added periodically, so check back soon.